Yeah, buddy. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Washington Football Weekly. Myself, my guy, Will Kramer. Football, Will, is back. It's back. And it's mm -hmm. back with the Commanders playing the Browns. We're going to Cleveland. Uh, Will, how you feeling, man? I mean, this is it's exciting. It, it is. It's going to be. I mean, you know, I, I, I told you this before. I don't get wrapped up in the preseason too much. And I don't watch the second half of games. Nope. Um, because it's just players that are not are not gonna be playing, but it's still gonna be fun to, to watch. And I'll be nervous on Friday. I don't like preseason games though, because I get yeah. nervous for injuries. Yeah. I still think about Darius Geis tearing his ACL and his career never got started. You know, so I actually it's exciting for a preseason to be there, back, but I like watching other, other teams. There was well, a then, of then the, the other things <laughs> really derailed his his career. But physically, he had he never got off 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 going. Sure. But I love watching other teams play preseason, but I hate watching our team. So yeah. I'll be, you know, like you're going to be nervous watching Sam. I'm just going to be nervous for no injuries, please. No injuries. Right. Right. This I look, I love this time of the year because this is the time normally when I really connect with my family and I'll always take them out. Last year, I think we connected with, I think like six or seven people. We all went out to the game. Even my uh, babe, my Great nephew, we brought him when he was a baby watching us lose it, <sighs> getting started early. But, I mean, I just – I love this. The, the ticket prices are cheap. We always tailgate prior to the game, obviously, because of issues we talked about last week. Um, and and then we go in there and just enjoy it. It's just normally a nice time of the year and everything. And, hey, it's this football is back. Oh, okay. Jeremiah Smith saying uh, Young should have a Pro Bowl year. Let's hope so. Yeah, Let's hope he, so. he's going to be part of mine when we get to keys to success. Chase Young is a part of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so talk about it, Will. I mean, who are we looking for to make big strides in the first pre in week one of the preseason? Yeah, so I think the, the very first thing is what Ab talked about earlier, about and you brought up Chris Paul. We've got a battle going on at left guard between Chris Paul. Well, Sadiq Charles is listed as the starter. He was given – he's been given first-team reps. But then guess what? He got hurt, just like he always gets hurt. It's And some of this stuff is just minor tweaks, but and some of the stuff is more. But more importantly, him going out has given Chris Paul a chance to come in and, and play with the ones that he's emerged. And now this is his first chance to get out there and hit somebody and be physical and show that strength that you talked about there. So I'm really excited. Who needs to impress? We got to see this all offensive line and some of these new pieces and some of the, the unknowns of, of, you know, at left guard and see like, okay, so what we've seen in training camp, now you're going against people who, who aren't against you every single day, don't know what you're doing. Let's see how you do. Exactly. Exactly. And that's another one. Yeah, obviously, Ab, Ab is in the comments talking um, and, and actually love this one. Do you think how should play Friday? I think for at least a series, if not, if not two, I still think you need to get that timing down. But the person that I'm I'm really most intrigued by, and that we've been talking about all throughout this uh, all season, Deami Brown. Nate came on the show and talked about how I got on him for his drop in uh, the Ravens game. He really needs to step up right now. Period. There is no other else. We have McLaurin. We have Dotson. We have Samuel, if we can keep him healthy. You know what I mean? And obviously they brought in Pringle from Kansas City, who knows EB. You're not going to get you're not going to get that many more opportunities. And he's been showing up in this preseason and in, um, in this training camp and kind of in this offseason. I need to show it on the field. I need to see what he's going to do on the field. That's somebody that I'm really interested about. Yeah, that's a good one. No, that's a good point. It's a good point. I'm going to go across to defense. OK, I'm looking at our, our defensive line and seeing who might be the final uh, man on the 53 man roster, because we've got our, our starters in place, obviously, on defensive line. We've got their primary backups in place. You're talking about the Casey Two Hills, the James Smith Williams, the Federian Mathis, the John Ridgeway. So I just that's eight guys now. So who's going to get the ninth and 10th spot? You know, you've got someone like F.A. Obata who can play both positions, and that that can be pretty helpful in somebody as, as a backup. So now you're looking at the two rookies, K.J. Henry and Andre Jones, who were picked um, to see how, you know, can how do they do, you know, against other other uh, players, how yeah. they can put the pads on. 
The other one, and I actually could have put him up there on the names and pressing. This guy came out of nowhere in week 17. He played awesome. That defensive tackle, number 79 with the long hair, Benning. I can't pronounce his last name. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. He I, showed up. I remember you talking about him. <laughs> yeah, and all of a sudden, I, I was listening to Ben Standick here, and they're all of a sudden, they're like, all right, this guy's making a name for himself again. Mm-hmm. He's just being solid again. He's he's hustle. He can hold his own. So I'm really curious to see some of the, these guys play and see. Cause basically, you know, you probably have one spot available among all three of them. So who's going to get yeah. it and who gets stuck oh. in the practice squad? And and and, and I, shout out to a Tom Lee. Thank you for watching. Shout out to him. He said we need uh, the run game uh, – though too i absolutely agree and that's the position i'm looking at you know we don't know ryan robinson might not get that much action we do know that antonio gibson has been getting a lot of work kind of in that third down back and more out in space so i'm eager eager to see if they show any of that obviously they're not going to be too fancy with the play calling and things of that nature Mm -hmm. but i'm i'm very concerned with those next two three backs we talked about jonathan williams Jared Patterson, I mean, you sent me something Jared, like Patterson. Yeah. Well, what's his name? What's his name? James. Jared, <laughs> yeah. Jared Patterson. Um, and then we have the rookie from Kentucky, uh, Chris Rodriguez. We have Derek Gore that we just picked up. from. Uh, they used to play for Kansas City. Um, and then there's another rookie I believe we picked up. I'm eager to see what, you know, how much time these guys get, especially throughout the preseason. And can they – you know, can they make strides? Can they do something to maybe get themselves looked at? Jonathan Williams, in my opinion, has got it pretty locked. But the fact that we brought in a gore, the fact that we did draft Chris Rodriguez, who we know can be a bulldozer, a road grader. He can move. The cha- he can definitely move the chains. You know, these all these guys need to know we're not going to keep six, seven, you know, running backs. So they need to know that this is the time to put up or shut up. So I'm eager to see. Yeah, no, that's a, I, I love that. And that, that is what makes, you know, the preseason fun is, is seeing some of these guys. There's one more name on that running back room that I was thinking about, and I keep hearing him. He was probably like, he might have been number 54 last year, number 55. And I'm really surprised this, but his name is Alex Arma. Huh. He is a fullback yeah. slash tight end. Yeah. And 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 he he equates into that, you know, um, to what Tom said. We need to get the run game going, and you yeah. know, it's kind of an old school position, but they like H-back. him a lot. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I'm I'm curious to see how does he how does he play with you know, uh, with some of those guys, and and what do they do? How do they utilize him? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, this right here. Uh, shout out to Jeremiah Smith. I think we need help at the tight end spot too. I absolutely mm-hmm. agree. We t- I talked about Cole Turner. Bates is also there, but we got a bunch of other guys in that spot that, you know, we need somebody to show up, but just like I talked about before health, we need guys that are going to be there through for a 16, 17 game season that can help sustain us. We already seen, I mentioned it before, you know, Logan Thomas has been kind of sitting out. He has had injury issues. So we need to know who's going to be there to fill in for that spot. So good point, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is.